Probus was one of the good ones of the 3rd century, not nearly attaining Aurelian's heights, but still much better than the Median Emperor of the era. By the time he was declared Emperor, he had been a military man for decades, having fought successfully on every frontier in the Empire. Rather than simply declare himself Emperor, he respectfully asked the Senate if they supported his claim, which they did enthusiastically. Probus spent his time as Emperor defeating a score of usurpers and putting down threats at the Empire's frontier, clearing Gaul of invaders and securing its borders. In the region between the Rhine and the Danube, he repaired Hadrian's fortifications and extracted a tribute of manpower from the tribes there, establishing a precedent of settling barbarians within the empire. This was highly successful in the short term, as the provinces had been severely depopulated by the century's chaos. But this would also forever alter the empire in the future. He rebuilt bridges in Egypt, helping to facilitate the distribution of grain there. In spite of his widespread popularity, Probus was assassinated by the army, possibly because they resented being used for civil engineering tasks. The historian Edward Gibbon believed him to be Rome's final benevolent constitutionalist, and indeed no emperor would ever again meaningfully involve the senate in the management of the empire.